Hey guys, Nicole here, coming at you with a brand new video. A portion control meal plan of the exact foods that we ate to lose 10 pounds in four weeks. husband behind the camera yo myself we were both really overweight seven years ago Kyle was almost 400 pounds he was 375 pounds I was 275 pounds we have lost 130 pounds each when we first started we knew that we needed to make this be a lifestyle change because our health was going downhill very fast and in order to make it stick, we had to choose things that we liked to eat. We knew it was the only way we were gonna stick to it and lose weight. So in the beginning, we didn't really change the types of foods we were eating, we changed the amounts. So everything we did to lose the weight was all portioned. So keep in mind guys, this is our starting out diet and yes. when we started, we had, like Nicole was saying, a ton of weight to lose. So some weeks we lost two pounds, some weeks, weeks we lost five, six, seven, eight pounds. So this, this is about an average, like, you know, 10 pounds in four weeks was about the average. Yeah, this is a, a ballpark of around the average amount of pounds that we were losing in the very beginning. Because we were starting out at such a big weight. And we had so much weight to lose. As you have less and less weight to lose, your weight loss is a little slower, but in the beginning, we ate these types of meals and foods, and we lost weight fairly quickly, again, because we had so much weight to lose. So if you're someone starting out in the very beginning, you have no idea where to start, and you want to like what you're eating. And you want to simplify things. And simplify it, and you know, lose weight steadily. That's what we did. Check this out, it might help you. This, again, is what worked for us. It may not work for everyone. Let's get to it. I love pancakes. For breakfast, I would have two protein pancakes. This is the flapjack buttermilk baking mix. You can choose, and if you wanna try this out, choose any protein pancake mix that you like. I really like buttermilk pancakes, so I had two of these. I used a quarter cup to measure the batter into the pan, so two quarter cup scoops of batter made two pancakes. Topped it with a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup. This is what a tablespoon looks like. Mrs. Butterworth's no sugar added syrup is our absolute favorite syrup. It tastes like pancake syrup and it doesn't taste like like diet. And again, if you don't get have access to that particular brand, any brand of low sugar or sugar free. I know in syrup. the beginning we sometimes did Walden Farms or we we found other light syrups or whatever. Yeah, there's um Ed Ed Smith, Edie Smith something. That was all we had in the beginning, so we used that, the light version of that one. So any, again, protein pancake mix and any low sugar or sugar-free syrup. And with the pancakes, I usually had yogurt and berries. I loved, and we still love using the plain fat-free Greek yogurt. One, because it has more protein, and two, when you use the plain, you can flavor it yourself without getting the added sugar and carbs and stuff. Now, we didn't worry about that too much in the beginning, but when we felt comfortable choosing lower fat, lower sugar things, we did. That's the beauty so, of portion control and why it really worked for us, is because we weren't ready, being honest with ourselves, we weren't ready to go full diet foods or full no. clean eating. So we, we were ready. Yeah, we didn't force ourselves, and what we were ready for, we changed, and what we weren't, we weren't, but we portioned everything. Yeah, and eventually we changed it. So we didn't force ourselves. Portion was the biggest thing, and foods we liked. This is what half a cup looks like, if you're not familiar with portioning out your food. Half a cup of the plain fat-free Greek yogurt, and I sweetened it with any my favorite sugar-free syrup, this one is the Skinny Syrups Glazed Donut. I use 
I use still and used one teaspoon of it. If you don't like the sugar-free syrup or you don't have access to it, a teaspoon of zero calorie sweetener, this one is the Great Value brand, and a teaspoon of any flavored extract used for baking will work as well. This one is vanilla. So that, and then top the yogurt with half a cup of mixed berries. We love mixed berries because they were also, they're also higher in fiber, so they were slower digesting. They made, they made us feel more satisfied and full, fuller and longer. The cool thing is you still feel like you're getting those fruity flavored yogurts, but without all the added sugar. Exactly, and a tip, if, if you thaw the berries overnight in the fridge, the juices from the fruit will actually flavor the yogurt and make it taste even more fruity. And we like the berries really in the beginning. If, if we wanted like frozen cherries or frozen melon, like we gave ourselves whatever fruit we were craving, but we measured it out to half a cup. Yogurt and pancakes for breakfast. Then in the beginning, we didn't really eat healthy fats and so to start out with raw unsalted nuts was really difficult for us so we started with something that we loved peanuts so first snack we chose the lightly seasoned peanuts because those were our favorite and we measured them out so we had two tablespoons of peanuts and a small apple for a snack apple good in fiber as well and we use the small one to portion it out for a good size you know the size of your palm yeah about a fist apple yeah so you know right fit in right in the palm and again like nicole has been saying like we weren't too picky we just knew we needed to start getting the weight off and portion control really did it for us yeah so just you know pick the smallest apple out of what you see at your grocery store two tablespoons of your favorite nuts don't worry too much like we didn't worry too much about the you know fats or anything in them. We just portioned out two tablespoons of our favorite nuts. Sometimes we even did the barbecue sunflower seeds. I remember those were like, they really helped us stay on track because we really enjoyed them. And two tablespoons of little sunflower seeds that are already seeded, you get a lot. So we felt like we were really eating lots. And they have potato chip flavors, so you kind of get that craving out too. Exactly, yeah. The next one, lunch. We loved soup, still love soup, so we included it. We just portioned it out. Pea soup is one of our favorites. One cup, and so you get quite a bit. One cup of soup with a toasted whole wheat English muffin. And this is just your plain average whole wheat Wonder Bread English muffin. And we measured out a serving of light margarine, this is I can't believe it's not butter. Two teaspoons is a serving, so two of these. It worked out basically one teaspoon per side of muffin. So toasted English muffin, one cup of soup, two teaspoons of margarine on the muffin, and one cup of raw veggies. We really love baby carrots, so we did one cup of baby carrots with a tablespoon of our favorite light dressing. We love ranch, so we went with that. So one tablespoon of light ranch. And a lot of people say to us, even when they're judging our diet from the beginning or now, what about the sodium in the canned soup? We needed something to work and the fad diets where we removed all like carbs and sugar and Rebel. completely removed salt, we, those didn't last for us, so we picked our battles. And yeah. salt in the beginning, or some peanuts, or you know, stuff like that was not a battle we needed to fight at that particular time. Exactly. Eventually, we did transition to lower sodium. A lot of people will comment, like you guys eat, eat, ate so processed in the beginning. Again, we had to choose our battles. Our weight was really damaging our health. It was, it was basically find something that works or you're gonna get really sick. So this is what worked for us. Snack time. This is one of our favorite snacks. We had two large stalks of celery. These are 
two large stalks, but they're cut in half. So two large stalks of celery with any kind of peanut butter that we had in the house at the time usually was extra creamy because it's our favorite. One tablespoon. And we spread it on the celery. Yeah. Next, dinner. I'm Italian, so I love spaghetti and meatballs, but we made kind of like a leaner version of that by having lean ground beef instead of meatballs. So, the next meal, dinner, one cup of cooked spaghetti noodles. So we would cook a whole bunch of spaghetti and measure out one cup of the cooked noodles. This is not one cup. <laughs> <laughs> and measure out one cup of the cooked noodles. We would top it with any pasta sauce that we liked, half of a cup of pasta sauce. And then we would top the noodles and sauce with three to four ounces of lean ground beef. Kyle ate four ounces because he's bigger than me and I had three ounces. Oh, and okay, so here's a tip. When I first started like learning about portion control and stuff, I stumbled across this tip because I never really considered pasta sauce vegetable. But in the Canada's Food Guide, pasta sauce is actually considered a vegetable serving. I know tomato is a fruit, but this goes as a fruit and veggie serving, actually. So, half a cup of pasta sauce, we considered it a serving of veggies. And we, in the beginning, and still now, we like to think of positives, and we needed to cling on to anything that would work, because, you know, you get all the information poured on you like get your veggies and get organic this and that well this worked for us we're like we'll we'll get in our serving of fruit and veggies however we get it in and you know honestly like when we want to change it up sometimes we'll go and get a pasta sauce and measure out half a cup and put it on our meals now so and we consider it a veggie serving now whatever you want to or, you know fruit veggie whatever it's half a cup <laughs> And then alongside of the spaghetti and ground beef, we always had some salad. This is baby spinach, but we ate every kind of salad, like romaine lettuce, garden salad, any anything that we were craving, any kind of lettuce. Yeah, we did we did light Caesar, we did like Greek dressing. Mixed greens, like any kind of lettuce that we were feeling that day at the store, we bought it. And then we put a tablespoon of whatever light dressing we wanted. So this one is light, zesty Italian. But like Kyle said, sometimes we got light Greek. Sometimes we got light Caesar. It, it was whatever kind of mood we were in. And so, spaghetti and salad. Wow. Yeah, it is kind of cool because we, we love food. You guys know that by now. And we like different types of food. Sometimes we're in an Italian mood. Sometimes we like Greek food and you can do that. You can just make your own healthier versions and that's, you know, what we did. Yeah, and like we said in, in the very beginning, we weren't ready to go chicken, broccoli, and, you know, kale and quinoa and all that stuff. We needed it to be our favorite foods, but portioned. And a few times a week, we had a portioned treat of some sort. So I included a portion treat in this meal plan because we did this two to three times a week. Rice cakes. We love rice cakes, especially the caramel flavored ones. So we had two caramel rice cakes. This is caramel corn. And I'm a like major chocolate fan. So two, not two. So one tablespoon of sugar-free or low sugar chocolate chips. Sometimes I chose the dark chocolate chips and sometimes when we had access to it, because it's Canada, it was hard to find at the time, we would get the sugar-free kind. And I remember like we switched it up to sometimes we do rice cakes and like a, a hunk or a square of dark chocolate. Or... Yeah, the seven, sometimes 70%, sometimes 90% if we were really daring. <laughs> but we, we eat chocolate like quite frequently. It was just the low sugar or sugar-free kind and it was always portioned. 
So I'll show you um, a tablespoon of chocolate chips. This was my favorite to portion out a tablespoon of chocolate chips and have it as a treat. It made me feel like I was getting my chocolate craving out. So this is what we did guys. We, we ate pancakes and soup and spaghetti and chocolate and nuts and peanut butter. Stuff that we looked forward to every day. And we lost weight and we're standing here today before you 130 pounds lighter and we started off like this so hope this inspires you hope you enjoyed this video before we go we just wanted to say we wanted to do this video in hopes to inspire those of you out there that are really struggling you're lost and you're not sure where to start or those who see all these you know popular diets out there and you've tried them or you're thinking about it but they're just not for you we wanted to show everyone out there that you can do this you can get fit you can lose weight you can do it your way by eating the foods that you love these we are two people who ate what we enjoyed still do lost weight and have kept it off and are now putting on muscle baby whoa <laughs> so anything is possible kyle and i never thought we could get here and we certainly never thought we could get here by starting out eating the foods that we love and continuing to eat the foods we love so hope you enjoyed this don't forget to check us out on instagram at the colettes we're showing you all kinds of meals that we're eating. We're showing you workout clips. We're giving you tips. We're doing question and answers in the story. Get there now. If you're not, I don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> and if you really liked this video and you don't want to miss any more cool videos, hit that little notification bell, okay? Because you want the notification because if you miss the video, you might cry. We don't want that. We don't want you to cry. So, do it. And, one more thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Or, wow. or what? The celery walrus teeth of doom. <laughs> the celery walrus teeth. You've really lost it now. <laughs> There's no coming back from this one. I'm a celery walrus. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. See ya. Oh, she disappeared. Ah. <laughs> <I'm She's... back. laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>